Monte Ball enters the weekend just nine touchdowns shy of the all-time NCAA record, though rewriting the record books, nothing new for a man whose 2011 season was one of the greatest in college football history. Monte joins us now from the Wisconsin campus in Madison. Monte, it's a natural inclination of the media to try to compare what you're doing this season with the amazing numbers you put up last year. Let me allow you to put it in your own words. Why don't you describe what 2012 has been like so far for you? Um, it's been a it's been a roller coaster ride, you know, up to this point. But um, it's something that I I most definitely don't regret. I don't regret coming back at all. I, I still am really happy about the decision I made, and as of right now, really happy of where my team is at. You know, from the last game, we really made sure we made a made a point at towards the end of the Illinois game that we're back and we're hungry for more, and that our offense is starting to click and ready to take it from here. What Monte has been the toughest part of this season, whether it was the off campus or off football field incident before the year started or the injury you suffered during the year or the team struggles? What was the toughest thing so far in 2012 for you to deal with? Uh, it had to be team struggles um, because, you know, we felt that like we were going to, you know, start really fast this year, but uh, obviously we didn't. But, you know, basically right now, you know, we're really focused on, you know, what's ahead of us because, you know, we can't look back. We're only looking forward right now, and uh, everything's still in our hands right now. We still control our own destiny, which is a great thing. Monte, when we spoke with you after your decision to return to Madison for your senior season, you told us one of the reasons why was the scouting grade that came back, a mid-second to mid-third round pick at that point. What were you told they wanted to see improvement in? Uh, they wanted to see improvement in my blocking and uh, put on a few more pounds as well. But uh, So what I've been focusing on this year is is obviously being a leader for this team, a captain, but making sure I'm making my blocks, making the right reads, and uh, just being accountable for my teammates and try to take them where we're trying to get to. Last two games, as a team, 58 points. Individually, you've gone over 200 yards combined and five touchdowns. Do you feel like something in this offense is starting to click? Oh, yeah. It's uh it's a great feeling right now, a great feeling. Uh, I feel like, you know, what we did in the first half against Nebraska and, and late against Illinois last game is really showed glimpses of what we're capable of doing as an offense. We're, what we're focused on now is doing it for four quarters. But, you know, as of right now, we needed that, and we feel really great right now as an offense. Monte, how much time have you spent, I know you're busy, but watching the NFL, you have one of the most talked about quarterbacks in the NFL and Russell Wilson doing great things in Seattle and a guy down in Houston in J.J. Watt who right now many people consider to be the best defensive player in the entire league. Man, uh, well, I talk about J.J., I watched him last night, and that man's phenomenal. I mean, just, just the plays that he makes away from the ball and towards the ball is, is phenomenal. And he did the same thing here. So I'm actually not as shocked because, you know, he deserves it and he worked hard for it. And, you know, the same for Russell. Uh, they, they both are great hard workers and they, they most definitely deserve, you know, what they're getting right now. Well, Monte, always enjoy chatting with you. Terrific player class act off the field as well. Monte Ball from Wisconsin, thanks for the time. Thank you. Thanks for having me.